For which values of A and B does the following pair of linear equation have infinite solutions? So my equation is 1 is 2x plus 3y equal to 7. And then I have A minus B, X plus A plus B, Y equal to 3A plus B minus 2. The first step I've got to denote A1, A2. So this would be my A1. This will be, I will write capital A because A is already been used. Or we can write also, so this would be 1. This is my C1. For this, this is my A2, B2, C2. So let's write that out. You'll write down what is A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. So A1 we saw is 2 and A2 is A minus B. Your B1 is 3, B2, A plus B. Your C1 is uh, 7 and C2, 3A plus B minus 2. This is step 1. Now we'll go to the next step. It says it has infinite solutions. So if these two equations have infinite solution, what is the condition? That means A1 over A2 must be equal to B1 over B2 equal to C1 over C2. So let's substitute what is a1? 2. a2 is this. So I put 2 over a minus b equals. Now this is my b1 and b2. So that is 3 over a plus b. Now for c1 by c2, this is c1 and this is my c2. So it is 7 over 3a plus b minus 2. Now to solve this, I will just take these two first. Means what? I will do 2 over a minus b equals 3 over a plus b. Let me solve this. So I cross multiply. So it will be 2 into a plus b because here it goes here. And now this will here equal to 3 over a minus b. Open the bracket. 2a plus 2b equal to 3a minus 3b. I bring all the a terms together. This is one a term which I will get it here. So a minus 3a. This is the minus 3b. When I go on the other side, it will become plus 3b equal to 0. So minus a plus 5b. You know why I got minus a? 2a minus 3a is minus a. Uh, plus 3b. This is 5, 5b equal to 0 got this one equation here now we are going to take these two up this two and make another equation so here's a condition and just to recollect now we're going to make another equation we'll take these two so I have 3 over a plus b equal to 7 over 3a plus b minus 2 cross multiply this year this year so 3 3a plus b minus 2 equal to 7a plus b. Open the bracket. 9a plus 3b minus 6 equal to 7a plus 7b. Bring all the a, uh, a terms together. This is the a term. I get it here. 7a. I write 3b here. This is another b term which I will get on this side. And this is minus 6 equals to 0. So 2a. This is 2a. When I put these together. When I put this together, I get minus 4b minus 6 equals to 0. To make this equation a little easier, I will take two common out. So when I take two common out here from 2a, a, when I take two common out from here, I will come minus 2b, 2 minus equal to 0. So my equation is a minus 2b minus 3 equal to 0. Go further up, a minus 2b equal to 3. This is my equation 2. Let's go back and see what was equation 1. This is our equation 1. This one. Minus a plus 5b equal to 0. 
Now in the next step, let's put the equations together. So we have a. So we have a minus 2b equal to 3, which is equation 1, this one. And now we have minus a plus 5b equal to 0. This is equation 2. Here we need to add the equations. This cancels. So this will be 3b minus 2b plus 5b, 3b equal to 3. So b equal to 3 over 3 equal to 1. To find the value of a, substitute substitute b equal to 1 in any one of these equations like in the first one let's substitute for this one that is a minus 2b equal to 3 put b equal to 1 so a minus 2 1 equal to 3 a minus 2 equal to 3 so I get a equal to 3 plus 2 which is 5 so here I get my answer b equal to 1 a equal to 5 So this was infinite solution. So we just did a1 over a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 got two equations.